pilot MC, H minus three Hi, minutes. Please maintain radio silence till the end of the run. Okay, everybody stay off the radio. In 1968, the astronauts on Apollo 8 used these translunar injection procedures to leave the Earth's orbit and become the first humans to orbit the moon. Kids who grew up in the 1960s knew Tang as what astronauts drank in space. Apollo 1 astronauts Gus Grissom, Roger Chafee, and Ed White signed this 1966 World Series baseball. The Mission Apollo toy set contains two astronauts, the lunar module Eagle, a seismometer, and American flag. The Golden Astronaut Moon Exploration Series contains a mobile moon headquarters, moon patrol cricket, moon explorer, and of course, two golden astronauts. The hard hat belonged to Gunter Wentz, the pad leader who made sure astronauts in the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo flights were secure in their capsule before liftoff. This glove is part of the extravehicular mobility unit, a spacesuit worn when performing spacewalks. This collection bag was used on the Apollo 15 mission to carry lunar samples. Called the Rock Box, this container carried lunar samples back to Earth from the Moon. This one has an especially interesting history. It flew on both Apollo 15 and Apollo 17 missions. It's on loan from the National Air and Space Museum. The Environmental Control Unit provided cooling, water, and oxygen for the astronauts' suits, as well as the cabin of the command module. The front page from the Rochester Times Union on May 5, 1961, trumpets the success of Alan Shepard's first space flight. The Orlin spacesuit is used for spacewalks in the Russian space program. Here's a one-tenth scale model of the Apollo command module, complete with three astronauts on board. It's on loan to the Cosmosphere from NASA. Worn underneath a spacesuit, the liquid cooling garment helps keep the astronaut's body temperature normal by circulating cool water through the tubes.